Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Uh, this is just a quick one because it's something I saw Games31 talking about on his YouTube channel. He just did a review for the new Atari Flashback 8 Gold, the one that uh, you can hook up with HDMI and you've got uh, a lot of built-in games and uh, it looks really, really cool. I'm holding off for that thing to have like SD card support, maybe next year. But um, it's got wireless controls, it's got rewind functionality, it looks, it looks pretty, pretty cool. And what uh, Game Sturdy one mentioned in his review, he brought up a couple of sample games, one of which being this, Centipede. And I don't know why he said this. I guess he was just sort of pointing out that you can hook up different controls to the machine. You don't have to play just the joystick, because as he said, Centipede is so much better with a paddle controller. And I thought, I didn't even think that was a thing. Who who plays Centipede with the paddle controller? And I thought, I'm going to give that a whirl because I've never played it that way. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the little guy you move at the bottom of the screen does go up and down a bit, like in the arcade game. So if you're using a paddle, you're only ever going to go left and right, and I don't think that's going to work. So <clears throat> for our initial uh, game here, we're just going to play with the joystick. Especially when it comes to the spider, how are you going to avoid him from being too close to you? How are you going to go up and around if you're using the... I don't know, this is a strange, strange concept, but I, I guess maybe Game Sturdy one has always played it with a paddle? We'll soon find out. Anyway, I'll just play this for a little bit to warm up and uh, discover. See, this is... like, how are you going to do that with a, with a paddle? How are you going to move up and around and out of the way? I guess you're just not gonna, which doesn't sound all that much fun to me. But, all right, let's, uh, I guess we'll just polish this off and switch over to the paddle. All right, and now I've got my paddle hooked up. I'm really curious to see what this is gonna be like. Let's give this a shot. Nope, can't even launch it. All right, how about the other paddle? Nope. Where the heck does he launch this thing? All right, <clears throat> they hit reset. I mean, it's not really working. <clears throat> Maybe it's the other one. You can't use a paddle in the... I mean, I can hit the two buttons and move side to side. What on earth is he talking about? You can't use the paddle for this. Let's try this out. No, it doesn't work. Gamester, it doesn't work. Okay, maybe it, maybe it goes in the other controller, uh, the other port. Let me try that. No, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, pressing, only pressing the buttons moves my but, uh, moves my thing side to side, but actually turning the paddle does nothing at all. So it ain't gonna work. About the only thing I can think of is I'm using an Atari Flashback 2 that's been modified so that I can play, uh, you know, homebrews and stuff on it. And this old Atari on a chip system, it's known to have some incompatibilities. So maybe on real hardware and maybe also with that Flashback 8 Gold. Maybe those allow you to use the paddle, but I've never heard of using a paddle to play Centipede with. So <clears throat> I might uh, I might post this out there for Atari Age or somebody, somebody to sound off on this. Is this a thing, playing uh, Centipede with the paddle controller? I've never even heard of that. And I, I can't imagine other games like Space Invaders and stuff would work. I mean, I don't know. Well, Actually, I'm going to very briefly give Space Invaders a try. Alright, let's give Space Invaders a try. Yeah, no, again, see? It goes left to right. And that, the other button does the other movement. So that's, that's not going to work! And I assume, let's, I don't know, we'll try one other thing like uh, Demon Attack, I guess. 
Yeah, same again. The buttons just move me left and right, but they don't they don't fire. So it might be a flashback two thing versus genuine hardware. I don't know. But I'll, I'll pass that on to anybody who's in the Atari community. I mean, can you play these games with paddles? And is Centipede well known as being playable and preferable with the paddle? It's news to me. Anyway, <clears throat> until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.